Dear students, welcome to Naresh IT. Today I am trying to discuss the questions which are based on the clocks. So in the previous video, we went with the discussion of the questions which are related to calendars. Today we will have a discussion which is related to clocks and mostly you are going to get one question or two questions from the topic called clocks. And as per the previous papers, I have seen most of the questions which are given under the clocks in the previous papers are related to angle between the minutes and hours and. Just remember one formula to tackle the question which is based on the clocks. So what is the formula we can use and how the question is projected, let us have a glance. So basically in the clocks problem, you are going to see a question as like this. The angle between the two hands when it is 2 hours 35 minutes is, that means if it is 2 o'clock 35 minutes, what is the angle between the minutes and hours and is a question. So whatever the time, they will see 12, 30, 5, 10. 5.15. So, any particular time is given for us and they will be expecting you to find out what is the angle between the minutes and hours end. So, how to tackle the question which is based on the angle between the minutes and hours end? Just take an example and try to solve this question. Let us look at a very simple example based on the angle between the minutes and hours end. You can use a very simple formula theta is equal to 11 by 2m minus 30h. So, in order to find out the angle between minutes and hours end, that means theta is required for you. And what is given in the question is, in the question, m value and h value are directly given. For example, I just want to find out what is the angle between the minutes and hours end if the time is showing 12 o'clock 30 minutes. So, if it is 12.30 pm, what is the angle between the minutes and hours end is a question. So, 12 o'clock 30 minutes, it is very clear that hours end is pointing towards 12 that means that h value is going to be 12 here. So, 30 minutes means the minutes end is pointing towards 30 minutes. So, m value is equal to 30. h value is going to be 12 and m value is equal to 30. So, using these two values, you have to find out what is theta. So, we have a formula theta is equal to 11 by 2m minus 30h. Remember this formula. So, 11 by 2 into m. What is the m value? We are able to see the m value is equal to 30 here. So, 11 by 2 into 30, 11 by 2 into 30 minus 30 h. So, what is the h value we have taken? h value is going to be 12 as per the given data. So, 11 by 2 into 30 into 30 into 12. So, solving this will give us a resultant. I have given a modulus value, even if you got a negative value, angle cannot be negative. That is the reason, even if you got a negative value, ignore the negative. That is why I have taken a modulus of that. So, 11 by 2. So, 2 ones are, 2 15s are. So, 15 into 11, 15 into 11, that is giving a result as 165. So, 165 minus 12 into 30. 12 into 30 is nothing but it is giving a result as 360. 165 minus 360 will give you a resultant the angle value theta is equal to theta is equal to 195. So, 195 will indicate the angle between the minutes and hours end. Like that, we can find out the angle between the minutes and hours end. For example, if you are unable to find out the angle as 195, so just have a glance. If you look at in a clock, the sum of all angles in a clock is going to be 360. So, for example, if you know one angle is 195, we can also find out the other angle. How can we find out? So, if this angle is theta in the circle, this angle is going to be 360 minus theta. So, if you know one angle is 195, if you 195 is not there, just look at what is 360 minus 195. 360 minus 195 will give us a result as 165. These two are the possible angles. So, mostly they will give the angle which is a non reflex angle. That means the angle will be less than 180 degrees. So, give a priority for giving the answer choice which is less than 180 degrees. So, if the option is available as 195, go for it. If it is not there, do not get confused, do not think that you have done wrong. Just do 360 minus 195 while well, gives a result as 165. Both the answer choices are correct. Mostly give a priority for a non reflex angle means less than 180 degrees. Let us have a glance on the question which we have taken in the previous. The question here is what is the angle between the two hands when the time is 2 o'clock 35 minutes? 2 o'clock 35 minutes is the time and we need to find out the angle between them. Use the similar formula. Let me take the question on the screen. So, 2 o'clock 35 minutes is a given time. 2 o'clock 35 minutes is a given time. By observing 2 o'clock 35 minutes, what is the hour sand? Hour sand will be 
pointing towards 2. That means h value is directly given as 2 for us. And what is a minute's end? Minute's end is pointing towards 35. So, m is equal to 35. H value is given, M value is given. Using these two, we have to find out the angle. That means theta value we have to find out. So, in order to find out the theta, so theta value will be equal to 11 by 2 into M. What is M value? M value is clearly given as 35. So, 11 by 2 into 35 minus 30 into H. What is a H value? If you observe, H value is going to be 2. So, just simplifying this further will give your resultant. That means we can say 11 by 2 into 35. 2 1s are 2 1s are and 2 7s are and 0 0.5. 17.5 is the value of this. So, I can say 11 into 17.5. So, we can calculate this value and minus 60, minus 60. So, I am using a trick of multiplication with 11. So, 11 into 7, 175. So, 1 and 5 will be as it is and 7 plus 5 is giving a result as 12. Take like this 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 1 is giving a result as 9. So, that means the resultant is going to be 192.5. This I am subtracting from 60. If I subtracting from 60, I am going to get a result as 132.5. That means 132 half is going to be the angle between the minutes and hours side. We are able to see 132.5, 132 and half as option C, mark it as answer. Let us look at one more question. So, if the question is talking about what is the angle between the minutes and an hours and when the time is 6 o'clock 20 minutes, 6 o'clock 20 minutes. So, 6 o'clock 20 minutes is a given time. So, by observing this 6 o'clock is indicating the hours that means H value is going to be 6 and M value is going to be 20. H value is 6 and M value is going to be 20. Using these two, I have to find out what is the angle between them. So, I can say theta is equal to 11 by 2 into m. What is m value here? 6 o'clock 20 minutes. That means, can I say m value is clearly 20 here minus 30 into h. What is the h value? h value is nothing but 6. So, 30 into 6. So, if you further calculate, this is giving a result as 110, 2, 2 tens are and this is giving a result as 180. 110 minus 180 is giving a resultant as 70 that is going to act like a angle between the minutes and an hours and so mark your answer choice as 70 degrees mark your answer choice as 70 degrees which is available as d mark it as the answer look at one more question if the time is 5 o'clock 10 minutes what is the angle between the minutes and an hours and is a question so it is 5 o'clock 10 minutes so 5 o'clock 10 minutes 5 o'clock 10 minutes i have to find out what is the angle between minutes and an hours and so, 5 o'clock 10 minutes, it was very clear that minutes and is going to be pointing towards 10, M value is going to be 10, H value is going to be 5. So, substitute those two in your formula called theta is equal to 11 by 2M minus 30H. Remember this formula, only this formula will be helpful for making your answer choice. So, there is other method to solve, but I am not discussing that. It is better just remember this formula to make your answer choice faster. So, 11 by 2, 11 by 2 into M, M is nothing but 10 minus 30 into h, h value is nothing but 5 here, so 30 into 5, so just by looking at this 2, 2 tens are, 2, 2 fives are, 11 into 5 is giving a result as 55, so 55 minus 150, because 30 into 5 is going to be 150, 150 minus 55 is giving a result as 95, so we can say the angle between the minutes and an hours and when the clock is showing 5 o'clock 10 minutes is going to be 95 degrees, mark it as an answer choice. So, like this, we can proceed with the solvation of the question whenever you have any question which is related to angle between the minutes and hour sign. So, let us look at, I just given some practice questions, try to solve these questions and keep your answer choices in the comment box. So, when the time at 15 minutes past 5 o'clock, what is the angle between both hour sign and minutes sign? So, here, do not get confused, what is 15 minutes past 5 o'clock? That is nothing but 5 o'clock 15 minutes. So, at 5 o'clock 15 minutes, what is the angle is a question? That is a practice question number 1. Question number 2, the clock shows 15 minutes past 3 o'clock. What is the meaning of that is 3 o'clock 15 minutes. What is the angle between the minutes and hours and when the clock is showing a time as 3 o'clock 15 minutes? And look at one more. What is the angle between the hours and minutes and when the time is 5 o'clock 15 minutes? It is a direct question. So, hour sign is 5, h value is 5, m value is 15, put these two in your formula. Theta is equal to 11 by 2 m minus 30 h. 
So, ignore the negative, that is why I given the modulus there. So, use that formula and try to answer this three practice questions and answer your questions in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe Naresh IT channel and share the videos with the people who are trying to write the eyesight examination, it would be helpful for them. Thank you so much.